السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹ ویلکم ٹو اندر لیکچر آن یس دا کورس وچ آر وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ٹفل رائٹ اینڈ دیز ڈیز وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اسکلز رائٹ وائی وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اسکلز سو دیٹ وی کین ہیلپ آر لرنرس امپروو دیئر دی اسکلز ون اینڈ آلسو وی بینگ ٹفل ٹیچرس وی نیڈ ٹو ناؤ ہاؤ ٹو ٹیچ دی اسکلز once you will be in the organizations you will be teaching all these skills so this course is there to help you out so that's why we are talking about these skills these days and in the last lecture remember that yeah we talk about listening skill and today after reviewing that skill again we will move on to another right which skill speaking skill now productive skill fine listening was well oral skill and receptive skill but today once you listen it's a time to produce right so we talked about listening skill last week and today we are going to start well how to speak first and how to improve in fact how to help our learners right improving their speaking skills this is our the goal so let's start today fine before i start i want to have your feedback how did you find listening skill right good did you start listening very good some of you are doing it and yes majority is not doing it okay student yes please start listening fine start listening listen to what i told you yes newscasters yes newscasting sessions really important what else listen to yes your teachers listen to authorities fine listen to students of oxford university cambridge university talking about news bbc example right so start listening in fact fine and then you will sit initially you will find it hard right but once you keep on listening you will feel that every day there would be improvement in listening initially you might be able to get only uh, 20% 10% so slowly and gradually you will you will feel the change you will feel that your comprehension is increasing day by day right so this is really important i told you it's, it's a shortcut way in fact a direct way to to get in fact input and then there's a time to speak clear students so that was just a recap let's start today's lecture my dear students what is it today is one on talking about which skill speaking skill in fact well so let's review the last lecture we talked about and my dear students i told you that historic historically speaking there was what focus on reading skill and writing skills and there was a view that well if you if somebody wants to learn a language so he or she needs to learn how to read and how to write that was what learning a language and definitely once the focus was on reading and writing so the listening skill was ignored then it was not given importance it was not given value then because value was for reading and writing but there was a shift right and we see this charles uh, bulsus he in fact said what he promoted the teaching of uh, listening skill listening skill and particularly listening comprehension and the idea that new teaching points should be introduced orally in fact that and again once we saw children acquiring language and then the role of listening skill because children listen and then they try to uh, speak and we saw oft, uh, in, uh, after the first world war or near this the second world war that well there of course uh, this method ALM in fact audio lingual method what was introduced fine and what was their method you see student you remember that yes the audio lingual method came to dominate foreign language teaching and language labs were also established and then of course we emphasized on listening as an active purposeful process is that clear so because the more you listen the better you would be if you want to be a good speaker so active listening is a prerequisite 
rec for that. So this is what we, we talked about in the last lecture. And then again, what are different kinds of the listening? In fact, we listen for specific information. Sometimes we we listen. Listen what? I gave you an approach. How can we do that? Yes, the bottom up approach, bottom up processing or top down processing. We talk about these things. And then what to do before the listening? I mean pre listening and then the main task of a listening and finally of course the feedback so in short what we could say that listening is a, is a, is a very important skill for teaching a foreign language and we being teachers we, we, we should give due importance to the listening skill and again we, we should know how to teach this this skill we have to select authentic text or authentic documentary or whatever material that you want to use you have to uh, you have to think over it what to use for listening skill for example uh, considering authenticity of the text that you want to use in, in the class that the speed for example of course when you are teaching language to children then which kind of audio you can use in the class or you are teaching people at intermediate level which kind of text you, you, you can use that or you are teaching in fact above intermediate level so which kind of in fact the text and again the difficulty level of the text is also important authenticity of the text is also important that the speed in fact speed of the speaker right that what is what is the average speed of of the speaker that we use uh, in in the class so these are some things that we we must incorporate while what teaching uh, listening skills and, and and we said right that there are different techniques different activities that we can uh, use in our listening skills well students so I was just reviewing this listening skill and I was talking about the importance of listening skill and then I talked about that how can we can use the listening skill in the class and particularly when you have to select a text a dialogue for for your listening class what can we do or what should, should we do to make it more authentic should we uh, can we simulate that fine can we record a voice fine so all these things we, we, we incorporate and then again I mean, while uh, in fact using this this uh, this the text that you have selected against the culture of course I mean that if you have uh, taken a text from 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 a culture where the tar this the target language is spoken so again over there the cultural background you can ask uh, the questions accordingly and, and and however if you I mean have voice recorded in the local the context so initially fine you see student would be able to to comprehend that that text well later on yes we can move on because if 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 you start with that uh, material of course with the, with an authentic material uh, that is that is recorded in, in in the language in the area where that language the target language is being used so maybe student would find it hard right they, they would be able to do it it doesn't it doesn't mean that they cannot do it but the point is that you see initially they they would student might uh, struggle but if you take for example uh, a, a, a dialogue in fact a text from the local context and if, if you could have that recorded so that would would really uh, help student in fact that would motivate students to move on from a, a dialogue which has been recorded in the local context to a dialogue which has been taken uh, and, and of course I mean as, uh, from a situation where that language is spoken as, as as the first language so this is I mean the point is the experience is that of course some sometimes generally if you observe the classes where the, where the listening, listening skill is, is is fact used as an important area for language learning so generally what happens is that uh, teachers use a text which has been recorded in altogether a different environment so obviously when, you, when, when, when we teach English as a foreign language where there is no uh, context of that language so that may initially student may may struggle they might have to put efforts to 
to in fact understand uh, the, the vocabulary items, understand the sentences which are spoken by the speaker. So this was what we talked about. You can go back and see this, this lecture again, in fact. Well, now today we're talking about speaking skill, right? By, by Kathleen M. Bailey, of course. Again, book we are following is Practical English Language Teaching. What is the book? Practical English Language Teaching by David Noonan and Noonan, Noonan has compiled in fact research work of different uh, experts, TEFL experts and he has compiled all those in one book and that, that en enhances the value of this book by Noonan in fact. So he, he in fact compiled all, all those what important uh, uh, knowledge of course I would say that knowledge I mean the uh, research work of different the people has been compiled by this person. So we have a roadmap here. What is it? We'll talk about identify the levels of spoken language. We are moving on to the speaking skills from listening to speaking. So these are the areas that we'll try to cover in this lecture and of course in the next lecture. What we'll try to identify what the levels of spoken language and explain their relationship. Fine, this is one thing. Second, we'll try to explain the main differences between audiolingual method and communicative language teaching. Yes, I think we have talked a lot about this while talking, right, about the methods and for, right? I hope you know these things. Then we'll try to describe some differences between spoken language and written language. Yes, very simple. And finally, we'll say how to demonstrate our familiarity with all the techniques that we have, we will talk about in this lecture. Clear students? Fine, no problem. Well, what is speaking skill by the way? You would simply ask me, it is a receptive skill? No, it is not a receptive skill. Why? Is it a productive skill then? Yes, why of course. So, listening was yes. We talk about listening. Listening is a receptive skill. So, then listening and speaking both are called as oral skills so listening input receptive it's a time for production so listening was definitely speaking I mean receptive skill speaking is productive skill clear so remember I, I repeat it for you maybe you are confused listening input comes right you receive and then you try to speak so here is the time for production. So speaking is productive skill. Fine. So what happens? People feel that speaking is a new language, of course, that speaking in a new, new language is a difficult task, right, as compared to other skills. This is a general per perception, of course, that you see, uh, you may, I mean, you may read that language like generally of course very common observation there are so many people in our country they can read English fine and and of course to, to some extent they can write English but when it comes to speaking yes it becomes a, a tough job for them there are so many people they can write of course if you see I mean even you, you might have seen some professors of course some in, in, in fact uh, 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 educationist that they can write, if you give, you give them a task, they can write, write, they can write essays, they can write, of course, letters, whatever they have to. But when it comes to speaking, they, uh, they struggle in that. Fine. So that's why this is, it, it is said that uh, uh, speaking in a new language is uh, harder than reading or other skills. Fine. What are the reasons behind? Yes, two reasons are given. Why, unlike reading or read, in fact, writing and speaking, speaking happens in real time. I hope you understand. I repeat it for you, my dear students, that two reasons are there. People feel that that speaking in a new language is difficult, is harder than other skills. Mean reading, right, writing. Fine. So while is speaking is difficult in a new language. One, because it's a real-time activity. You have to perform, right, on the spur of the moment. Fine. So you have to keep a lot of things in mind. You have to, I mean, of course, you have to communicate your message. Fine. And not only you have to communicate, but also you have to make yourself understood. 
this is which is not easy in fact you can say I mean maybe many a times you must have seen some professors for example they deliver excellent lectures but when they have to just speak on that on a topic for example maybe they have been teaching that topic for 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 months for years so when it comes to speaking on a topic they do a very good job but once they have to interact they find it very difficult in fact why because over there speaking yes there are so many social pressures on the speaker right speaker has to anticipate a question and speaker has to has to find out what to say fine in a given situation and he cannot be quiet once the the speaker in fact conveys his message and his listener decodes fine and then again once the listener encodes then of course what happens now speaker has to be on his toes in fact so once it's a dialogue I mean communication start between a receiver and a sender of course when two person communicate so both had to be alert fine and you might have seen sometimes of course when two people they I mean two persons for example they they want to interact in English and maybe after some time they they they, they, they stop that and they try to switch the code so after they, they try their level best to be in that language but in kuch der ke baad unka wo, wo jo level hai they feel ki hame switch kar dene chahiye language right hame english se urdu mein aa jana chahiye ki hame wo bin nahi paada in fact we, we, we are unable to find what to say in fact i hope you understand so this is what that's why people say that you see if you compare speaking with other skills it is harder it is not easy why it is not easy because you have to uh, keep a lot of things in mind you 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 need in fact uh, of course uh, uh, sentences you need some structures also what what to say and then you need vocabulary items and then you you never know what would mean your 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 speaker say and then accordingly you have to respond and that's why people feel that you see it is not easy right to, to speak in a new language as compared to other skills because I mean reading yes you are reading in fact fine and maybe in the first reading if you are unable to get something you will reread second reading you may not get something you, you read it third or third time so you have time similarly writing you may I mean write in the first time you may not produce a I mean, good draft you will I mean redo it re after I mean trying again and again you might be able to write a good good composition but when it comes to speaking yes you don't have time you have to respond fine right on the spur of the moment so you need to be what mentally strong you need to be active you need to be dynamic as well so this skills in fact in other words of course of course it's a productive skill but once you have to speak this in, in that language so a lot is required I hope you understand so second reason is when we speak my dear students we cannot edit and revise what we wish to say right so and when we keep on thinking what to say for example right so we can do so when we have to write I mean writing you have time you can make drafts in fact whereas in speaking you don't have that much time I hope you understand is that clear okay so that's why people say that well reading of course is, is a skill that needs a lot of the practice only then you, you you will be able to communicate in that language again mind you that, that of course communicating on a particular the topic if it is one-way communication you may not find it find it hard but once you have to use it for transactional purposes for interactional purposes then definitely you have to be on your toes to, to respond quickly to, to comprehend again comprehension is required and then immediately you have to uh, is respond as per the situation is that clear so that is what people feel that it is not easy to communicate right in a new language I hope even talking about Urdu for example sometimes it happens that you know maybe you are a good communicator but sometimes even in Urdu while interacting aapko samajh nahi aari kya kya kaha jai situation ka right agar aapko communication gap hai aap kisi aise bande se baat kar rahe hain jo you feel ke uske bas knowledge bohut zyada hai aur wo us, us baat karte huye ko aise i mean wo expression you use karta hai jisko aapko pata nahi hai to aap wahan 
मतलब एट टाइम्स आप क्या करते हैं कि आप एम्बेरस होते हैं कि उसके बाद आपको समझ नहीं आ रही तो आप अगर आप बात समझ नहीं पा रहे तो हाउ वुड यू रिस्पॉन्ड आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड सो दिस इज वॉट बट अगर लैंग्वेज भी दूसरी है सो so, ये तो थिंग बिकम्स मोर डिफिकल्ट इज दैट क्लियर आई होप बात समझ आ रही है आपको येस गुड गुड और राइट सो ही आई मीन कोर्स वी आर टेफल स्टूडेंट्स right so we need to know what is this speaking skill in fact so in language teaching of course the four skills are described in terms of the di directions you know that so language generated by the learner in speech or writing again see language generated by the learner in speech or writing is referred to as productive skills you know that of course see if you even you speak speech or you write productive skills fine you know it and the language directed at the learner see mind you the two things by the learner and at the learner fine language directed at the learner language directed by the learner fine you are devil students so we need to keep in our mind our our learners who are our learners in fact so mind you that language generated by the learner fine so in if he speaks or if he writes that is referred as to as productive skills and language that generated at the learner in reading or listening is called receptive skills fine remember that generated at the learner generated by the learner when it is by the learner in speech or writing it is productive productive when it is generated at the learner reading all listening is called receptive skills so another important idea is my dear students channel what is the channel in fact which refers to the medium of the message it is oral or or in fact fine the oral through your mouth or you write it so now we are in position to define what is speaking for example so my dear students well speaking is the productive oral skill is a productive what is speaking it's a skill so which skill productive and then oral skill fine second it consists of what productive systematic verbal utterances to convey meaning in fact this is important speaking is a productive oral skill one thing now it consists of right how okay we can make it it consists of what producing systematic systematic verbal mean words verbal utterances utter whatever you say right to convey meaning this is important right utterance systematic utterance again systematic what verbal utterances the words why we do that to convey meaning it's very simple i hope you understand yes speaking is a productive skill good it consists of again it's a productive and oral as well clear oral oral skills we also call it mean o r a l and a u r or of course oral skills what yes it consists of what my dear students consist of yes systematic right one systematic utterances and again systematic verbal utterances to convey meaning then of course that of course we are having this course and we need to know how to teach this skill so teaching speaking is sometimes considered a simple process sometimes people say it's very easy in fact maybe make people speak right create opportunities for for speaking this is what general general perception is there but again of course if you feel it is easy that we can easily in fact uh, help people sp um, speak so why still people are not good speakers where does the fault lie right does the fault lie with with the curriculum development does the fault lie with with teaching foreign language methodologies right or does the fault lie with that method in fact why we are unable to communicate why majority of course if you talk about our country that of course majority starts this this subject english from class 1 right and after spending i mean 12 years 14 years people come for language courses 
why they could not I mean in fact improve their speaking skills they might develop their writing skills fine even not to that extent but again we could say but the point is when it comes to speaking people come for for spoken English courses in fact clear so that's point that from this implied meaning is that well I mean you see it is not easy right to of course to to help people speak in the target language is that clear students you understand all right so I hope you understand things all right so now very simple thing that we said it's a productive oral what is it what is speaking productive oral skill which consists of what systematic verbal utterances to convey message good now again that what are the differences between spoken and written languages earlier I gave a clue, clue in earlier that well when you, when you have to speak for example it is a real-time activity you don't have time right because you have to respond there and then you are talking to somebody and when your speaker says something you have to have something to say there and then whereas when you have to write something you have enough time right so you can utilize that time and you can respond right in in writing but when, when it comes to speaking yes you again your practice definitely helps you I hope you understand all right so my dear students there are two of course there are means of course except of, of expression that and here mean oral oral and written so we'll see what are the differences between what the spoken version and the written version of language so what are the differences spoken written language spoken what is it auditory you listen is that clear then what temporary immediate reception of course like I told you earlier that you see there and then you see you have to you have to decode and then encode decode mean comprehend understand decode again once you decode you comprehend and then you have to encode so it's it's co it goes on it never stops in fact it's a real-time activity fine so you don't have time I mean your your, your speaker I mean your listener would not expect that you would take 10 minutes and give me a response by the time you would leave I hope you understand Aapka listener aapse foreign jo hai wo response chahta hai agar aap response nahi de paenge to wo communication wahan break ho jayegi in fact uska ye khayal hoga ka shayad aap usse baat karna nahi chahte maybe aapke paas kuch kehne ke liye kuch nahi hota baat samaj aari hai nahi aari 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 hai asaan baat hai na कि अगर आप बात कर रहे हैं माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स तो आपको लिसनर ने एक रिस्पांस दिया है यू गॉट अ रिस्पांस फाइन नाउ हियर इज अ टाइम फॉर यू टू गेन टू कंटिन्यू दैट क्लियर टू 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 रिस्पॉन्ड टू हिज क्वेश्चन इफ यू डोंट हैव एनीथिंग टू से अगेन आई मीन इफ यू आर इफ यू आर एक्टिव स्पीकर यू गुड आस्क हिम व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय दिस इफ यू आर अनएबल टू गेट द क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क हिम टू रीफ्रेज और यू कैन आस्क हिम टू राइट of course rephrase the question I hope you understand so spoken is auditory fine real time then there is prosody of course mean there is what prosody what is it rhythm stress intonation we also call them supra segmental feature of the language supra segmental feature mean that they come on those right? supra segmental features right stress tone and rhythm we'll talk about later on that what are the linguistic elements that include of course mean in this uh, speaking for a speaker but supra segmental mean that stress pattern intonation and all that okay so again feedback is required quick feedback is required and then again the planning and editing limited by chef you don't have time to plan and edit of course some people yes they are slow speakers so they, they keep on thinking on that but again with, with, with the passage of time they improve this and they have to a small pause is okay in pause you can make make an idea but this pause of course if it prolongs if, if the du duration of the prolong that pause increases again that uh, causes stress as well I hope you understand so these are what means spoken written simple visual you can see that 
fine that is more tangible that is in front of you you can see that then permanent all right so you can I mean you see important something is there of course so reception can be delayed you can respond lately in fact if you feel that you are unable to to write a message now you can delay the process you can do it again again and if you have done if you have written a message and you feel it is not good you can redo it you have you have always time fine whereas in speaking you don't have this facility in speaking yes if the uh, of course in the interview you are there for a job I mean after this course you will be taking interviews and if your interviewer ask you a question and you have to answer what would he expect he would say that well the, the, the interviewee doesn't know anything fine so whereas I mean for example if your interviewer if your employer sends you an application sends you an appointment letter and if you don't want to join still that is in front of you and you you can respond that later on but in speaking quick response is required here mean in, in writing you have punctuation sign language is there then of course you can delay a response or you can see there's no feedback and yes you have unlimited planning editing and revision you have time when you have to I mean give response in writing so you have time for editing your message you have time for planning and of course revising things when you feel that you have done this this assignment this project it is not up to the mark you can redo it you can have a look again right so once you redo it you improve it with every uh, in fact revision we improve our document clear students yes no so I hope you are clear what are the differences between spoken version and the written version in fact so I give you some differences more you can find out clear think again what other are the differences between spoken version of language and written version of the language fine all right so here what is the background to teaching in fact speaking of course like we see this was the first point what is speaking today's first point was what is speaking now we'll try to see what is the background the schema of teaching in fact what background to teaching speaking in fact so my dear students again for many years what happens people taught speaking by having students repeat sentences and recite textbook dialogue yeah earlier this was well you want to improve your speaking yes learn these dialogues and um, there are dialogues given of course and you need to memorize and of course you might have heard or you must have seen in the markets spoken English books are there so kya hota hai ke wo mukhtalif situation ke dialogue diye hote hain usme saath translation bhi hai or the poor learner what does he do wo koshish karta hai ki unko cram kar le kis tarah karke ab wo jumla cram karta hai in fact maybe wo jumla somebody wrote that sentence of course Ten years back, up after ten years ke baad jumla kahi wo situation mein nahi fit ho raha in fact. So this was fine that there are dialogues, fine, and you need to learn those. You need to cram those dialogues. Ham you the pehle situation ye thi ke the learner used to learn those dialogues by heart. Ye toh tha. Up of course, and then again you talk about remember that audio lingual method, audio lingual repetition drills. Yes. What I mean, कब की बात है ये? Yes, before the World War Second. In fact, again I repeat, some there are two views. Some say that of course after the First World War, and even some say that after in fact Second World War. So yes, because we needed people for Second World War. So the पहला opinion है कि first जंगी अजीम I mean First World War के बाद, right? We needed uh, people in fact because because I mean America has to send people for spying and for different the, the purposes so so even America in fact finance universities to have a method so method got the audio lingual method ALM so yeah over there that method of course was based on you know that the theories what for theories again I would say do I have talked to you many times about it behavioral and structuralism and of course give drills to the students so that language learning becomes their habit so this was I mean that ALM talks about the habit formation of course chain drills were there repetition and all that so the concept of habit formation in fact I told you based on the theories that I have just mentioned all right now what happened in our 20th century in fact language acquisition research 
made us reconsider our old beliefs about how people learn to speak. This happened now we are in 24th and 20th century, in fact, late 20th century. And several studies prove that interaction helps people and children learn a language. Children acquire language one through interaction. They interact with people, right? They, they, they listen and they start speaking. They interact, of course, right? And also people who learn their language, in fact, so they learn second language through interaction. Right? So children acquire language 1 through interaction and we followed the same method for language 2 teaching and we saw that interaction is a must. Interaction is a prereq for, for learning for foreign language and that gave birth to CLT, communicative language teaching in fact. Fine? Because once we realize that interaction is a must for learning a foreign language, unless you interact in the language, you cannot communicate in that language. Right? So interaction in fact was considered an important skill so that's why you see this this does give birth to that paved and ways in fact mean what for paved grounds for the CLT communicative language teaching fine and then you see and there were two versions of CLT you know that the first version the weak version the second of course the strong version you know that we talked a lot about it that the weak version the teacher should teach components of language but include communicative abilities this is the weak version what does it say the teacher should teach components of language but include communicative abilities I mean this do teach those those forms but with the with the perspective of communication second strong version since students learn through interacting the lesson should consist of opportunities to communicate it means that activities should be designed so that people would be able to right learn that foreign language communicatively the purpose is to communicate that language this is point earlier yes in the earlier version of CLT yes this communication was interaction was given importance but with with the other things as well but in the strong version of CLT yes we realize that well language is a vehicle of communication language we learn language to communicate in that in that language so that's why teacher in fact need to design activities and those activities will ha would help the students communicate in the target language is that great students fine all right so again if you move on that to communicate well in another language we must make ourselves understood by the people we are again this is a very important point I mean when you have to communicate in the language what we try to do first we communicate our message fine we try to make our message clear right we make try to make our message meaningful fine this is one right and the point is that we try our level best to make ourselves understood by the people whom we are talking whom we are speaking in fact right so it is our it is my purpose I being communicator I if I'm a speaker I try my level best to make myself understood right and what do I do for that I try to speak slowly I try uh, to keep the context in mind I try to read right body language of my listener in fact my 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 communicant when I am communicating, I am communicator. So you are my communicants right now. Who am I? A speaker. Who are you? My listeners, my communicants. I am communicator. So I, being communicator, what should I do? I should try my level best to make myself understood. Make myself understood is important. And for that, I need to work really hard. Yes, again, there is a debate on that I have to do so much, I cannot say that you have perceived accordingly. I cannot say that. It's a research story, in fact. Okay, definitely, of course, if I, you might be able to, if you are a very, very good listener, you might be able to get 60% or 70%. I cannot claim that you have got 100% of that. Because definitely there are different factors. 
There are so many barriers. Kya hai? So many barriers are there. We cannot remove all those barriers. So because of that, I cannot say that what, what I, I speak right now, you are, in fact, getting me 100%. Fine? So this is what means that, well, when I try my level best, being a speaker to make myself understood. You try your level best. But again, there are some factors which are hindrances, which are barriers. Fine. So making oneself understood in another language is not easy at beginning and intermediate level. Definitely, of course. Right? That you are a beginner or even you are at intermediate level. After some time, you can feel that some people are really, really good. Britorians who are so good at talking about it, that they get to in fact. Now, there are many factors. There is also a person's position, in fact, right? So, if somebody has given much time to his speaking, he keeps on thinking that how to make his message, I mean, what is it? That he can make his message so that he can understand the listener's message. Right? So, people have really worked on that. And again, I mean, of course, people have spent their ages in it and still they say that, no, no, May I, I cannot, I mean, convey my message. I cannot make myself understood. So, there are so many factors on, some psychological factors are there. Okay, right? Sometimes you have a pronunciation problem. Sometimes, of course, you have emotions. So, there are few people who can convey accordingly. There are few people who convey their meaning, their words. In fact, they, 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 they try to make themselves understood. But it doesn't mean that people are not. Yes, and this is also that with the passage of time, you improve your communication. If you put efforts in that, if you put efforts in that, I hope you understand. So my dear students, this is what we see, that making oneself understood in the language, it is not ever easy. Right? So again, we know that speaking is a real-time activity and speaker has only limited time to plan and edit his speech during a conversation. Now, because time is very low. We saw that in writing you have time. Fine, you can plan, you can revise, you can proofread, fine. Whereas in speaking, my dear students, yeah, kya? Time nahi hota aga paas. You have to respond quickly. Usme baas ko aap itna quick hote ho ki aap ki baat samajh ni aari hoti in fact. So, wahami you need to cool down. First of all, try to decode the message. Mean, try to understand the message. Phir aap ek pause lehen, and then you can start. If you don't take a pause, a quick reply will come, then you will probably have to be able to make a story. You may not have anything to say there. If you try to, you know, people will try to say something very fast. After the speaker is in the mouth, then the response is coming. Because I have a lot of things. And this is a wrong thing to consider in an interview. Why do I talk about an interview? That you are going to complete the third semester. Right? You are about to complete your third semester. You will be in the fourth semester. And then, again, after six months, you will be in the job market. And there will be interviews there, in fact. So, a tip, keep in mind, my dear students. What tip is? That when the interviewer questions, so listen to the question. Right? Listen to the question. Take a pause before you start replying. Or not do that, he has asked a question. Pen pada jawab in fact. Kya aapko mujhe to aata hai sara. Us mein aap in that way of course you you in fact you are at the loose at the what we call you stick. Ek kis pe hote hain aap? You are at a sticky wicket. Ki jab aap quickly reply karte hain us mein shayad interview ye bhi ye bhi samajhta hai ki he is over confident. Right? Or maybe and second us mein ek problem bhi ye bhi ho sakta hai ki aap shayad wo baat kar na paayein jo wo chaha raha hai in fact. क्योंकि आपने तो शायद वो जवाब कहीं से आपको मिला हुआ है और आपने शायद उसको वही बात आपने उसको हैबिट फॉर्म की हुई है कि जब ये सवाल होगा तो मैं ये जवाब दूंगा तो शायद वो ही वुड थिंक कि जी आपको बहुत आता है इनफैक्ट सो ये चीज आपको पेबैक नहीं करती सो कीप दिस टिप इन माइंड माय Right? Cool breath there. Fine. Take a pause and then start. Usme kya hoga? You would answer it well. And that answering would 
a factor. That answering would influence, that answering would convince the employer. He knows how to speak. अगर आप quickly for a response करें तो वो एक impression जाता है कि एक या तो इसने कहीं से चीज़ क्रेम की भी है, इसने कुछ चीज़ memorize की भी है, इसको कहीं से ये सवाल पता लग गया है और इसने learn किया है बाहर तो फौरन जवाब आ गया। Otherwise rationally speaking जब एक question आता है तो आपको उस पे सोच के जवाब देना चाहिए। बात समझ आ गई है। Good. So students move on. That again very important thing that important linguistic elements involved in speaking. अब ये बड़ा important area है कि इसमें क्या है एक inverted pyramid भी आपको अपने book में मिलेगी। I want you to have a look at that. कौन सी book? By David Lunan. Fine. उसमें ये बातें three things were discussed. Text क्या है? Text, utterance, clause, phrase, word, morpheme, phoneme, right? And distinctive features. इस तारीख में phoneme दो दो भाग गए। Just one sir. Clear students? So what is it? These are important linguistic elements involved in speaking. Text, one. Then, utterance, clause. Kya hota text? Elongated version of speech. Iske koi length nahi in pa. Pir utterance kya Whatever you utter. See? Meaning of course. Pir clause kya Very simple clause kya hai? A group of sentences having a subject and a verb. You know that? He eats is a clause. They can subject be have verb be in fact, grammatically speaking. He sleeps again at what a clause, subject in a verb. Phrase kya hai? A group of words, right? Which makes a little sense in fact. Or even people say that's make which yes, which may almost makes no sense. Ek simple baad yaad ga ke my dear students, kya hota hai? Ke sentence is a group of words which make sense. ठीक है, sentence is a group of words which make sense, simple, जो आप sentence, second क्या आपको phrase है, phrase क्या है, कोई group of, जहां पर आप कहते हैं at night, कोई meaning के लिए नहीं हो रहा है in fact, but when you say we sleep at night, now it gives a meaning, I hope you understand, so then you say in in the morning, it's a phrase, a group of words है in fact, इसमें preposition भी हो सकते हैं, तो कोई meaning नहीं है, लेकिन you say yes, I get up in the early in the morning, now it has a meaning. Fine. So this is phrase clause, a subject and a verb. Is that clear? One sentence. Yes, it's a must be a sentence that is make a clause to ho. More than one are possible. Clear? So clause kya hai? A group of words having a subject and a verb. Right? A word kya hai in fact? Yes, word collection of morpheme kya hai usko Ek word mein more than one morpheme ho sakte hai. Phoneme kya hai? Smallest sound hai. अब देखें मॉर्फीम स्मॉलेस मीनिंगफुल यूनिट है डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ मॉर्फीन एंड फोनीम मॉर्फीम व्हाट क्या है स्मॉलेस्ट मीनिंगफुल यूनिट राइट अब क्या है जी कैट्स अब देखें कैट एक मॉर्फीम है सेकंड मॉर्फीम है कैट्स में दो मॉर्फीम हैं देखें एजुकेशन एजुकेट और शन दो मॉर्फीम एजुकेट के भी अंदर मीनिंग है शन Itself meaning in fact. I hope you understand. So this can be a suffix, prefix, or even root word bhi ho sakta hai. I hope you understand. So ek word mein more than one morpheme ho sakta hai. Or ek p in fact ho sakta hai. Then distinct features of language. I told you earlier, supra-segmental features. So diye saare elements involved hai in speaking mein. Ki aapka text kya hai, aapka utterance kya hai of course. Phir aapka wo clause kya hai, phrase, what is the phrase, what is the clause. What is the morpheme? What is the word in fact? Right? So, ye chizhe aapko definitely these are the important linguistic elements involved in speaking. And the key text kya hota hai? Simple I tried to give you. Stretches of language of an undetermined length. It can be very long. Undetermined length hoti hai uski. Thik hai? Utterance kya hai? Spoken text. Fine? Are composed of utterances. All utterance, an utterance is something someone says. It may be a full sentence as the concept is used in writing. Or it may be just, where are you going? Park. Simple utterance hai. Clear? Where are you going? Exercise. Utterance hai. I'm going for exercise. Ebik puri sent. Right? And one word can be utterance. Do you want pizza? Yes. Right. So, 
I hope you understand. Clause, you know what is clause? I told you. A group of sentences having a subject and a verb. Phrase ka bata diya maine aapko. What is the phrase? A group of sentences which makes little sense or almost sometimes no sense. I gave examples of that. Word is also called a free morpheme. Morpheme ka bata ya. Smallest meaningful unit morpheme hai. ठीक है एक वर्ड में मोर देन वन मॉर्फिंग हो सकते हैं आई गिव यू एग्जांपल्स ऑफ दैट फोनीम क्या है अब ये स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट ऑफ साउंड है फोनीम लेकिन इंग्लिश में कितने 44 फोनीम्स है आपने फोनेटिक्स में पढ़ा है इनफैक्ट हाउ मेनी फोनीम्स 44 साउंड्स हैं उनको हम फोनीम भी कहते हैं क्लियर कितने फोनीम्स हैं फोर्टी फोर फोनीम्स आर देर राइट एंड अगेन दे आर डिवाइडेड इन टू वट कॉन्सेंट्स एंड वॉल्स ट्वेंटी फोर कॉन्सेंट्स एंड ट्वेंटी वॉल्स हैं आपने इसका फोनेटिक्स में पढ़ चुके हैं ऑलरेडी Clear? And again, it's further be categorization. Hai. See that lecture as well of your infinitics. Now, distinguishing features. What are we doing? What are we talking about? We are talking about linguistic elements involved in speaking. When a speaker speaks, what is his text? What is his utterance? What is his, of course, right? What are the phrases he uses? In fact, word? What is his morphemes? What is his all that? Then, distinguishing features mean supra-segmental features. How? Right or where a sound is produced when we speak? In fact, how is that sound produced? I want to help you. See, stress I pe chala gaya. I want to help you. See, want. Is that clear? I want. I want you to go there. I want you. See, you or nobody else. See, so they are all supra segmental features. Fine. I give example. I think I know. I think I know. Then I say. I think I know, right? I think I know. See, I hope you understand. This is what we call them supra-segmental features of what language. Is that clear, students? Fine. Again, even this is what I talk about the pyramid. It's very important, right? Linguistic devices are there in a the shape of a pyramid. See, there is an arrow comes down. Sentence a larger level. Come down to phrase level. Word. Morpheme and phoneme. Now, see example. What is the example? Big example. The umpire talked to the players. See, now what is it? The umpires talked to the player. Sentence level. Below, there are two phrases: noun phrase and the verb phrase. Now, we are at phrase level. Can you see? Yes, we are at the phrase level. Look at the umpire. Umpire. The umpire. This is umpire's noun. In fact, the article, of course. Phrase the umpire. Other hand, talk to the players, right? So the umpire noun phrase. Talk to the players verb phrase. Clear? Am kis level pe hain? Yes, we are at the. Is level my dear students? So this is my dear students. Yes, what do we call it? See, this is what we call it phrase level. Ab dekhe kya hai? The umpire. We call it noun phrase. What is it, my dear students? Yes, noun phrase. In fact. अब यहां आ जाए वट इज इट माई डियर स्टूडेंट दिस इज वॉट फ्रेज लेवल कैन यू सी इट ये फ्रेज लेवल सी सॉरी वर्ब फ्रेज सॉरी वर्ब फ्रेज देर इज अर्ब हियर अब ये लेवल कौन सा है माई डियर स्टूडेंट सी दिस लेवल इज ये फ्रेज लेवल नाउ आई कम डाउन सी वर्ड लेवल पे आ जाए अब क्या है इस फ्रेज में इन दिस फ्रेज वी हैव टू वर्ड सी द राइट एंड देन अंपायर Clear? Two word the and empire. There are two words in this noun phrase the, right? And then empire. Ab idhar aaje for verb phrase mein. So yahan kitne words hai maripas? Talked to the players. Clear? Talked is a word. To of course, right? Is a word the and player. Ab aaje morpheme level pe. Is word da ke morpheme kitne hai? One morpheme. The one morpheme. Empires में कितने मॉर्फीम है सी टू मॉर्फीम्स एम्पायर्स एम्पायर वन मॉर्फीम सेकेंड मॉर्फीम टॉक में कितने मॉर्फीम है टॉक्ट सी टॉक्ट राइट टू में वन मॉर्फीम द वन मॉर्फीम प्लेयर्स में कितने मॉर्फीम है थ्री प्लेयर अब ये सारे मीनिंगफुल हैं ई आर को किसी आप में एड करें तो ये मतलब लॉन्ग लॉन्ग इज दैट क्लियर एस ऑल्सो कैट कैट्स सो दे आर थ्री मॉर्फीम्स इन दिस वर्ड प्लेयर अब नीचे आ जाए फोनीम लेवल पे इस मॉर्फीम में कितने फोनीम्स हैं दो दी दे आर टू साउंड एम्पायर में कितने फोनीम्स है माइडियर स्टूडेंट्स 
right? Empire. A m p i r. See, one, two, three, four, five. अब यहाँ जाएँ स वन 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 फोनीम टॉक्ट टो ओ क टॉक थी थ्री फोनीम्स एट टर्म वन वन फोनीम टू टू टी यू राइट यार थ्री फोनीम्स हियर द अगेन टू फोनीम्स प्ले थ्री फोनीम्स राइट अर टू फोनीम्स इस वन फोनीम आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स अ गुड पारामीट ऑफ कोर्स अ गुड इनफैक्ट इंटरप्रेटेश Sentence level, a larger level, a larger segment of the language. Then we come down to what phrase. So when we're talking about the speaking, my dear students, yes, what we have to do? We have to, in fact, clear well, students. So this is, of course, we're talking about this uh, different, in fact, linguistic elements of what uh, you see. These are different linguistic elements for your yes. For teaching speaking, in fact, so being a teacher, right? We we need to keep these linguistic elements in mind, and definitely when you teach this skill to your learners, so definitely of course the awareness of these what these linguistic elements are important. That we need to know, of course, that what is the text level, of course, what is a text, and that in what the pyramid, of course, mean. You see, we will see in in the book. You will come to know. So the text is at the bottom, in fact. Fine, and then we move on to the other areas because the text is elongated. So, my dear students, now let's summarize our today's lecture. Today, what did we talk about? Today, we started with speaking skill. We saw that speaking is a what productive oral skill, and it consists of what systematic. Fine. Systematic verbal utterances. Is that clear? So that is what we talk about. And then we started talking of background to speaking skill, right? What are the, what are the backgrounds to speaking skill? Why speaking skill is important? Is that clear? And and we saw that of course when did we uh, start talking of this speaking skill? And then did, when did we realize that CLT is important because the learner should be able to. Communicate in the target language, right? And then while talking about the background, we 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 saw, my dear students, that this is a skill which needs practice, and this is a skill which, in fact, which is a real time skill, and that's why the speaker speaker has to has to take the decisions. So quick decision making is required at the speaker part. So that that the flow of communication would not break. It is a two-way process. Of course, we, 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 you can recall to uh, see once I talk about. You can remember ret rhetorical theory that when the speaker speaks, yes, uh, he conveys his message and he tries to make himself understood. And then once he is works, he works hard. He tries hard to convey his message. And then he expects a response from his listener, and once he gets the response again, now he has to, he has to, in fact, what says? Of course, he has to, uh, in fact, uh, I mean, uh, of course, make another what hypothesis? He have to, he has to give another statement. So that's why I told you that sometimes what happens that you see, you see, while while talking, people switch their course. In fact, I hope you understand. So therefore. Since speaking is a real-time activity, it requires speakers to be on his toes. It wants speakers to 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 be active, to be mentally strong. Fine. And again, how can we do that? Only, of course, people who have exposure to to, to this language, and people who in fine in fact practice that that skill in in the in the target language. Only then they can they can do that. Otherwise, we cannot expect this. This, of course, the fluency and accuracy we'll talk about later on. From, of course, at, at I mean, a beginner or an intermediate level student, because this is a skill which which yes, people have spent ages to be able to con communicate their message as well. And again, I told you that uh, we cannot say, we cannot claim that whatever I say, in fact, you have absorbed it. Of course, I mean, as per my expectations. So, speaker tries 
his level best to convey his message well even listener tries his best communicant tries his best to get it but again because of the so many the barriers I mean even listener of course when the listener when the speaker speaks he keeps on thinking what next to say so there is what processing going on in fact the speaker keeps on processing right and of course but whatever he has said command se nikla hua teer wapas nahi aate so ye this is of course we have a limitation in the speaking ki hame you have to you know you have to communicate in fact there and then aapke paas waqt nahi hota of course ki aap us cheez ko pehle usko aap soche write usko edit kare like we do in writing right so here kya of course mean again the communicative purpose here of course that you see you are you should be able to convey your message well and that's why of course this CLT approach is a real success that the focus is on the fluency and that the CLT says that well accuracy comes later on of course once you make your learner uh, fluent so accuracy comes later on so that's why of course this when talking about the speaking and how to teach speaking skills so we need to keep that uh, this this pyramid in my mind and that pyramid talks about I told you that sentence level is a larger larger in fact segment in linguistic you must have discussed that and then we come to the of course which level the clause level of course we we call it noun phrase and what the verb phrase and then we moved on to what other areas that I talked about you can have a look in this diagram the sentence is a larger segment then we move on to phrase level then move on to word level morpheme and phoneme so please do not confuse yourself between a difference between a morpheme and phoneme phoneme is the smallest minimal sound morpheme is what smallest meaningful unit light and that that has a meaning fine so dear students with this we t we come to an end to, the, to this lecture we will start this speaking in the next lecture as well we we'll talk about principles of speaking in fact right what we we'll talk about what are the principles for teaching speaking in fact is that clear so thank you very much thank you for being patient listeners I hope you have enjoyed this lecture it's really important so you want to improve your speaking what to do start speaking in fact create environment fine and then you'll be able to be a good speaker right thank you very much see you in the next class it's goodbye